hello and welcome back to another RV walkthrough. As always, my name's Taylor Quayle. We're here at Padata RV Center. We're gonna look at a 2011 Keystone Montana 3400 RL. This is a quad slide fifth wheel. As you can see, all three slides are here on the driver's side. Then you got one other slide over on the passenger side. It's a double axle, 50 amp power service. It's got a great little floor plan. So we're gonna give it a good peek, check out all the exterior and interior options and go from there. So we'll start in the rear here. Not much going on on the driver's side because you do have all the slides in the way. So you got your TV slide, kitchen slide, and then bedroom slide right there. Does have a good amount of options on it. 12 gallon gas or electric water heater being one of them. These tires, 2518, some Towmasters. They are 235, 85R16s. All right, and then like I said, this is your kitchen slide. So this is the back of the fridge right here. And then that's the exhaust for the microwave. Overall for being being a 14, uh, be, I'm sorry, being a 2011, it's been 12 years old already. Your stripes are in great condition. Whoever owned this prior to us definitely kept, kept it in some type of covered parking because they all look great. Down below, you have an absolutely massive storage just to the right of that. Got your poles, your city water connections, outdoor shower, all your cable connections there on the right and actually a disconnect which is always nice but look at the storage it's huge that right there that white grate is accessible from inside the coach right by the steps we'll definitely take a peek at that your first propane tank five gallon then we got 15,640 in terms of the gvwr 35 35 3150 in terms of cargo carrying capacity You see a little bit of fading going on on the front decal. They probably had it covered parking, but maybe the front exposed. Because all the sides look really good. Battery compartment area. And then if you wanted to get fancy and put a gin in, you got a spot for one. All right. Do you have an electric on in there too? Looks to be maybe 12 foot, maybe 14. And then we got one more propane tank right here. And of course the other side of the storage. It does have a couple connections on this side. I think this is power if I'm not mistaken, a couple 110s. Got your no slide toppers on it. Let's just double check these tires and make sure they are all matching, 2518. Oh, the rears are Heartland. What kind of deco do we have on these? I don't see one, we'll have to check the other rear. Oh, you got an area for a spare tire right there too, which is nice. Now, this is currently in the detail department. We got our gals cleaning it up. It came in pretty clean regardless, but We'll have to give them a big thank you for doing that for us. <laughs> nice wide look, massive window in the rear here. We gotta check out that roof as usual, so let me get up there. All right, on the roof here, at that, you know what? This looks like an RV roof right here, let me tell you. Let's see if I can get you zoomed in a little bit. Yeah, pretty standard. All right, that is your exterior walk. We'll give it one more quick once around and head inside. All right, as we go in, you got three fold-up steps right there. And there's a screen door right there. And then, this is what you see right when you walk in. You're greeted with the kitchen. And then your main living area. Go stand in front of these chairs and look back. And then, of course, bedroom up top, mid-bath. So we're going to start right at the entry door. Right when you walk into the right, you got this little car compartment, cabinet. I don't know what I'm trying to say there. But what you can do with this is put a washer and dryer in there. So very nice. You can fit a full stack in there if you wanted to. Now, your first slide, the only slide on the passenger side there to there, 
does have your freestanding dinette and your trifold couch in it. Couch looks a little bit older than 2011. We won't judge too much. Good storage up above this dinette. You can see added speakers there. Give them a little bit of a surround sound setup. See another speaker right there, which actually a really, really good viewing angle for the TV. The TV's got some cool quirks too. We'll look at here in a second. Now this is an R3400 RL, so it's a rear lounge model. That's why you got these rear loungers back here. Now with these chairs, they do have to be spun sideways and kind of tucked into position before the slides come in. Otherwise, you will have some chairs in the way. Whole bunch of that tall people storage. Not really used to that. Do they connect? Nope. It's a wall. If I was taller, it'd be easier to look. Huh. And then you got your standard day and night shades throughout this whole coach. Daytime, nighttime. All right. So your next slide is right here. It's got your desk, TV, and fireplace in it. Desk is cool. It's a natural desk. It doesn't overhang, so you can slide a chair in there, which is nice. So here are some of my info. You can see 34 feet long, four slides, 29,995. The actual floor plan is that one. There is your tank sizes and LP and hitch and weights and all that fun stuff. And then just a little another something from the, come on, stay straight, from the brochure that I thought was good info, talking about the floors, walls, and roof. <clears throat> one other thing I thought was very fancy about this desk, check this out. Look at that. You can use that as a bookshelf. You can use that as pen storage. You can even hide some secret bourbon in there. Who knows? And then you do have a couple drawers too, right below it. Now above the TV, it's all where you'd put all your components. And then you can put a sound bar back here now. There's nothing there now. Obviously they installed the, uh, the surround sound to it. Fireplace down below. And then this TV, I was trying to figure out what the heck all this stuff did. And I found out it literally slides out and let's see if we can get at the angle a little bit. There we go. So now it's straight on the couch instead of just a little angular to it. So that's the main living area. Next up is your kitchen. The kitchen is, I love these kind of L-shaped, U-shaped kitchens, whatever you want to call them. But they have incredible amounts of storage. So on both sides, you have storage compartments storage compartments and storage compartments this one is accessible from both sides very cool i mean look at this it just keeps going it literally doesn't stop hey central vac system right there that's a great location for it little lazy susan down below making use of the space you've got I'm wondering what these are. It goes to the sink candle. All right. Now, these are all Korean tops in here. You have a nice four-door reefer. It is a Norcold. Should have ice in the top. Oh, no ice. So, just a full-on freezer up top. It is a three-way fridge. So, we'll run off a of propane or electric or plugged in. Does have a little oven with three burner stove top above that and a little counter extension slash extra storage. A lot of fun, fun things in here that make it a pretty unique coach. Now you're not gonna fit many people in the kitchen, but one person, they got eight arms. Let me tell you, they can, they can cook a whole lot at the same time. Four drawers right here. And then I think that's a sponge. Yep, another sponge. Yep. Oh, how interesting is this? I haven't opened the sink yet. So they got the Corian cover, <laughs> plus the white cover to make it sit. Oh, my mother's calling me. Unfortunately, we'll have to decline that to make it sit level as you are traveling. That's actually kind of cool. I mean, it is another step to have to take off that cover too, but it does have it sit nice and level, which looks good. And that is mainly your kitchen. It's a little tight, but a whole bunch of, whole bunch of uniqueness to it. Even more storage there. It literally doesn't stop. This coach is meant to store anything and everything. 
look at the look at the pantry storage. And then you got more tall people storage. Go tell my mom to grab a step ladder. All right. And then into the main bedroom area. Before we walk in to the right. Fantastic fan, light, and then more light controls and slide controls. Part of the slide controls. There it is. That storage area I was telling you about. And that grate you can take out from the top. So it can't really be taken out from the bottom. All right. Now the last slide is your bed. As you can see, follow that crown molding. You'll see where the slide is. This is a king with bed. And then... You got a little bit of underbed storage, not much. Got a safe though. <clears throat> and just to the right of the bed is your full wall closet. And this does have two doors, but as you can see, nice cedar line, partially. And then an area where you would think you put your washer and dryer, no. A couple cable TV connections there, and just a whole bunch of storage. It's a little dark, I'm sorry. It's kind of kind of dark in the bedroom with the lights, the warm lights that they have in here. One thing to point out, vanity for the bathroom is outside the bathroom. It is in the bedroom. Some people love it. Some people hate it. It really comes down to a personal preference. That's nice. Six drawers, just to left that. And then, medicine cabinet. And last but not least, the actual toilet room. Plenty of room in here. China toilet. Breaker box back there. And then outside is your shower. Plenty of room in the shower. Even if you are tall, you can see that does it does have a step up, but it dips back down. They're gonna call that a bathtub. Mm-hmm. Yep. And it does have a slider door right here. So there you guys go. There's a quick walkthrough. 2011 Keystone Montana 3400 RL that we're selling for $29,995. What other specs can I remember? Four slides. God, I can't remember the length. Oh, no, it is 34 foot overall. Very nice. So thank you so much for viewing. Hopefully you guys learned something. Hopefully, you know, if you had a question you were looking to get answered while you're watching this video, hopefully I was able to help you answer it. But if you have any questions, I'm going to put all my info in the description box below. And uh, yeah, go ahead and reach out. I make these videos <laughs> quite often. I got a lot of RVs on this slide. So if you stay, stay in touch, maybe you'll see something that you actually are interested in. Thank you so much, guys. Hope everyone has a great day.